Hi everybody, I'm Max and I welcome you to a new video of Piano Tips. With this video I start a new series of tips on different practice methods, tricks to use during our practice. First of all, let's speak about our hours of practicing, how to structure them and how to organize ourselves. Before we start, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you want to receive updates on my upcoming videos. Check out as well my Facebook and Instagram pages. And now, let's begin. For beginners, but also advanced players, it is quite common to ask ourselves, how many hours should I practice? Someone may be told us to practice eight hours per day. Somebody else just say the time needed to finish our duties. Well, it depends. It depends on which kind of person you are and what type of work you have to do. Like for example, practicing for a competition or a concert. But in any ways, there is a common knowledge about how much you should practice every day. Our general practice time should be no more than 4 to 5 hours. This is because the brain after this amount of time starts working less efficiently and the quality of practice as well as the mechanical aspects of it will be worse. There will be days where you could practice more and others with many side tasks where you could practice less for example because of lessons or home duties, but in general try to stick to this time. You could split between morning and afternoon or evening as you wish, depending on possibilities or work. During our hours of practicing it is really important to keep some rest. Usually every 45 minutes we take a 15 minutes break or something similar. This helps our brain to refresh and our arm muscles to recover. To become more productive with your practice time, I also suggest using an app like Boosted or set a timer to understand how much we are actually practicing. Suggestion: During our break, it is ideal to not check socials, but instead have a walk, prepare some tea, work out. For those of you with a limited time to practice in a piano room, for example students in a conservatory, I still suggest this timetable. If you manage your reservations well, you should be able to practice the hours needed for the day anyway. Another advice I would like to give you is to take rests of pieces you practiced hard during the previous days. For example, if you practiced a Chopin tune for one week and achieved a good improvement, do not practice it anymore for two or three days, then take it back. This practice helps the hand and brain to get stable in what they learn and when you will play again the piece, you will discover it will be better itself. Regarding what to practice and how to structure it, here we have a lot of freedom. Usually, it is a good idea starting our practice with some technique exercises, from scales to arpeggios to more advanced ones. But if, for example, we have to prepare for a competition, we should be able to perform without warming up. So you could start with a piece or pieces you start one round of the competition with. Anyway, try different things until you find the right schedule which works for you. After some technique, it is time to practice the repertoire pieces we have to work on. If we are more in a reading or memorizing phase of a piece, I suggest going for this right after technique. This, because read and memorize, consume lots of energy of our brain, so we want to do it as soon as possible since we are still fresh. If you are a professional, Try fusing the reading and memorizing phase. I suggest reading the Limer Kiziki method for more details about it. Now that we spent already quite some energy, we can practice details like dynamics and phrasing and so on in repertoire we already know. During this time, just practice anything that you need to work on. Our last phase is about anything else you like or need to practice. This can be new chamber music, leaders, or set reading practice or just reading something you like by yourself. Doing this at the end is the right time for it, as we don't need too much energy. If you want, you can also keep this time to improvise or compose. You can adapt this schedule within your specific time slot for piano playing, as well as decide whether you want to keep or move some parts of it. This schedule, of course, is my suggestion, based on my experience and knowledge, but everybody's different, so you can adapt it better for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video and the tip of today, and if so, 
leave me a like and a comment in the section below. And I'll see you all in my next tip. Thank you.